Everyone ammo here for more dead cells. I, we have a dagger. We got two daggers. We got throwing knives. We're doing all right. I am, what's it called when you're tilted in real life? <laughs> Who in real life has tilted you? I was streaming. I was playing some cave lasers, doing the cave lasers daily for the day. Uh, I started the stream and realized that I had the settings for recording, not for streaming. So, yeah, I saw, oh, hello, hello, zombie. Okay, let's, uh, I gotta, I gotta handle this. Got some brain power, we gotta handle one at a time. We only handle one thing at a time. But, so I had the settings set up for uh, recording off streaming, so I stopped streaming to change settings back. But then I will go well into the daily. It's having a good daily, we're having a good time, everything's having fun, we're having a good time. And then I realize, like, 40 minutes later after the daily, I look back at my OBS, we were never, we never started streaming again. I don't know what I did. Don't know how I how I messed that up, but our stream, we just never, we had never, we, we, we didn't stream. <laughs> so I was talking to myself for like, for that whole period, almost an hour, me just talking to myself, because I never actually started the stream. At that point, it was too late to go again, so I just, that we, I just bailed on the, I just bailed on the stream for the day, because my wife was having a bad day, so I wanted to be, uh, wanted to be available when she got home, give her a little reassuring hug and kiss. So we just we just cut it. We just stream just didn't happen. I suppose today. Oh well. It's part of this practice, part of this experience. How did you really hit me? I swear I got my. I swear I got my roll off. Took a little bit of damage. There. We do have our two heals now. With open, open. Oh, we actually made the time door. Oh, the glorious. Look at that money. What else is down here? What else is down here? A teleporter. What else is over here? We get what is this monstrosity? It's a it's a it's a gaggle of dead cells. It's a gaggle of cells. All right, so we need to keep playing quickly. <laughs> we need to with 13 seconds. We just barely made that one. So that was that was a good amount of cells. More than we get for uh, killing enemies sometimes. It's because that first level in particular, there don't seem to be a ton of enemies spawning. What is this nightmare? All right, kill you. Please stop shooting at me. Some baggers at you. Can I hit you from an angle? I don't think so. I'm just gonna leave you in that pit of acid that I do not want to bother trying to infiltrate. There's a lot of enemies all stacked up. Bleed. Dude, the knives do not do a lot of damage. They enable a small amount of bonus damage off our twin daggers, but they on their own are not are not hitting hard. So we just need to keep that in mind. We're trying to kill someone from range. Ah, poison. We're trying to kill somebody from range. We need to be careful. So we do not have a lot of range damage output. A little bit of damage. I don't want to heal too early, but any amount of damage makes you kind of nervous. Because some of the enemies hit really hard. And you can take a lot of damage really quickly. So being uh, just... Ooh, oh, oh, oh no. Like that. Get rolled into that. Kill him. And we just heal up. My hit against the exploding dude got interrupted and we blew up. So that's pretty that's a pretty rough situation. What's up here again? Is this just the ossuary? Yeah, it is just the ossuary, which is not our we're not ready for that. That's not our it's not our stiz right now. And a hefty chunk of gold, I'd love to find a shop. Buying some maybe upgraded weapons. How are you not dead? Uh, stat upgrades. That, that was silly. A grenade, finally, a skill. I didn't realize we're kind of like not doing so hot, are we? Glad we can get. Uh, uh, pardon? Okay. That was it's my cat laying on my monitor cord. My monitor actually went completely black for a second. I think the cat it might be the cat. He loves to lay behind my computer, which is obviously not great, but he's so darn cute. I let him do it, which is terrible. But he may have just leaned on the cord and disconnected me for a second, which is terrifying me. I thought maybe my computer had completely crashed and everything was game over. We seem to be just fine. That was close. Get him daggers. Oh, we need to go over there because pick up the money. I guess if it's safe, we might as well. And stacking up the daggers, they actually stack up multiple of that bleed. So hitting it with a few of the daggers, I suppose, does add up damage kind of quickly. Gain more confidence fighting the enemies. Oh, don't walk on that, though. 
take the kebab. Could have saved it, but I don't think it's worth it necessarily to do so. That is a shield. I don't think we want the shield. Get away from me. We have not had a lot of respect for shields. It's a greed shield 3. It does do some damage when you block. Gives us a little bit. Attack immediately after parrying. Oh, that's a nice effect. Immediately after parrying, inflicts 300% damage. I don't like stopping to block, though. Versus just rolling through. I don't Maybe I need to play more with shields. Maybe I need to give shields a chance. We haven't really given shields that much of a chance. So maybe we need to give love a chance. Give shield love a chance. Fire grenade, is that worth our, all our money? It's a fire grenade 4. 16 damage, it burns enemies, fires volley arrows, causes 6 arrows to fall from victims. Yeah, we, yeah, we'll take it. We have a lot of money, we're not doing anything with it. So let's take... Uh, there's somewhere to teleport to. Let's take the fire grenade, that gives an extra skill. We had a blank skill slot. So now we have just more ways to fight. Yeah, here's what we're looking for. We're looking for this chest. We'll get a fancy weapon. Upgraded throwing knives. It is, in fact, better throwing knives. It goes from 14 damage to a whopping 19 damage. And it pierces and throws a grenade. And the hot knives inherently cause bleeding, which is good. Because our, I believe our... Ooh, it's ice grenade. I feel like the ice grenade. We already bought this fire grenade, though. Hey, stop. The, uh, we're about this fire grenade. And our daggers, these daggers actually deal bonus damage to bleeding targets. So we got a little mini synergy. It's not a ton of bonus damage. You better, you better fall down there. Oh yeah, the enemies take fall damage, don't they? Which is a pretty fun idea. We're actually at level 1 strength, level 1 health, and we're at, we're, until just that moment, at level 1 skills. That's horrifying, actually. I thought we were... A little bit stronger. I didn't realize they're actually quite weak, stat-wise. Let's not let that shake our confidence, though. The prison depths is new to us. We will be going there because it's new, despite our clear lack of stats, which may cause us some problems. Give me a stat upgrade. You get, you got it. The heavy crossbow. I. It wasn't bad. We need to be very careful if we use it. I like damage taken reduced, but we just need raw stats right now take the damage. I would love HP as well, but we need we need to hit a little bit harder. Rampart style I'm looking for. Is there anywhere else? There's some stuff up here. Maximize our dead cells. Over. Even though I just said we want to play faster to get those time doors, because those time doors are good. We don't need to be in a rush because they're a little weak, so we can find anything to help out. Don't just let them nibble on you. No need for that. Come on. You have to respect them. We don't have any damage. There's probably not much down there. Yeah, let's just, let's just move on. We'll just move on. That's Ice Grenade 4. We're, in, we're okay. <laughs> we're okay on stuff. So it's down here. The Prison Depth. So new area, new enemies. Hopefully we don't die a horrible death immediately. I would really love like 18 more levels of strength and a couple more levels of health. <coughs> all the stats. Just give me all the stats. Finally got our first time door. 21, what is that? Let's get the 5% increase in throwing knife damage. Any new unlocks we can have? We haven't found any blueprints. We haven't carried any blueprints yet for a little while. Let's put it towards random melee starting weapon. Because it's hundreds, so many cells to improve your healing potion. That's in, oh, it's insane. So let's get the random melee weapons. That could help us a lot. Accelerate in uh, the early game. So, so what's the what's the prison depths about? We got an achievement. It rubs lotion on skin. Not very funny. I should have hit that door to cause a stun effect. Oh well. We'll live. That is some sort of armadillo. I wonder if we take damage. That was that was lucky. I wonder if we take damage if we hit him from behind or something like that. Set on fire. Toss a grenade at him. Ha <laughs> ha! Grenade causes knockback. Knocks enemies down. That's nice. I'm really terrified of these armadillos. Cause I'm not sure how they how they're gonna hurt me. So they do a sonic roll, so they are partially Sonic the Hedgehog. We do so little damage. 
feels pretty terrible. He was trying to do a Sonic roll again, I think, and failed. This is just very stressful to run into enemies that you're not sure how they behave. What's up here? This is a shop. Do you have stuff? You do have stuff. You have weapons and a stat upgrade. Like stat upgrade are... I mean, these aren't better, really, than what we have. Spartan sandals. We can kick some dudes. Plus one health would be nice. Regardless, we can't afford it. Oh, that... Yes. Please. I desperately need it. Another shop? What are you selling? Pendants and another stat upgrade. Get gold when you get a dead cell from an enemy. That's a lot of money, though, for that. Those amos are expensive. Seems obnoxious. Seems super obnoxious. I don't like this at all. What is what? What? Excuse me. I'm uh, sorry. What is this factory down here? Of oh, he throws bombs and spawns a whole bunch of flyers. This is actually nightmarish. Okay. Um, let's pop down again. Oh, that's the, right on top of him. Okay, the damage over time got him. It's just his friends left. Surprisingly dangerous group of friends. We're on fire. And did. Yeah, that's not... I don't like that guy. I don't like that guy at all. I don't like this guy at all. What did I just say about not liking this guy? I think I think I think the secret might be to just be aggressive, be be aggressive. How do you spell fired up? F you. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, grenades. This guy's a real stressful. I'm not happy about it. I'm glad we got a kebab though. I'm happy about the kebab. Oh, not happy about. <laughs> not happy about the airport, the aircraft carriers. So I can still hit them in the back from range, at least. And then they do a roll attack. I guess if I just touch them in the back, it becomes a problem. Roll away from bombs. These monsters. These, these birds, though. What's causing the freeze effect? Is it this new dagger that we got once upon a time? That is an elite slasher, who is really dangerous. And that's a regular old slasher. Who I can't set on fire due to the nature of his surroundings. I just toss a bunch of knives at them until they die, though. That actually missed. <laughs> just to call me a coward, if you must. This is scary, this is scary though. I don't want to go in there. Yeah, yeah, that's not, not a situation I want to deal with. So he, he just immediately did, just wombo comboed me. I'm trying to, I don't want his, his friend there to get me. He, how, excuse me? Does he have a ranged attack on that final swing? Evidently on the final swing... He gets extra range. Unless there's a small zombie there, which I didn't see hit me. But I feel those slashers are vicious. We killed the one the one time. And then we ran into that second slasher. He killed me immediately. He ran into that elite slasher right there. And he also immediately killed me. Slashers are vicious. We'll be going to the prison depths again if we can make it. Let's see what we can get out of... <laughs> Maybe we have to keep the frost blast. That was a very rough run, though. We didn't have a lot of... Uh stats. Maybe I am noticing like we're in a lot of situations where we need to roll more than we can actually roll, so maybe that's what the shield's really for. We should not politely open the door for enemies, we should actually just bash it open to stun them. And then this is the shield that also lets us uh, farm money off enemies. 
Which might be really important. Excuse me? How <laughs> did that not work? Does it work for these grenades? I doubt it. It does, it actually knocks it back. It's kinda cool. Okay, that's the length of the time of the animation. Like I said, we haven't used the shield a lot. Maybe we'll do shield run. Sure, we'll do shields. This time we haven't done shields ever, really. I was very quickly not impressed with them, so let's try it. Let's get a shield to try this time. What did I just say about... That was terrible. Let's try it again. Oh, come at me again. Dude, this is... They, they're so slow at attacking. Well, that's alright. It's our first time shielding. We're practicing. Practice, practice. Shield practice. All I have to do is not die, and then it's like, it doesn't matter how much damage you take. Because we get fully healed at the end of the level. So long as we make it through the level, it, we can we can take as much damage as we want to. Yo, stat upgrades for sure. I don't care what else you're selling. We need these stats. I'll take strength and more damage. Health is a close second. That way we don't get killed quite so quickly. It's only 40 damage, uh... Only 40 damage, a arrow, and I think a yep, and a tooth. So we're not exactly making bank off this thing, which might even make it not worth our effort, not worth the effort. Maybe it's because it's only 40. What do you got for me? Fire grenade. So we just got a flashbang and fire grenade, I like the crowd control. What's this? I want that. We haven't had that heart thing before. You have to... There we go. Come back, come back, come back. You guys just wait. What? You need to stop this. Alright, you both. Taken care of. See, like, we need to get those... Extract these teeth from everyone. Can you only do grenades? Or can you slap me? You only do grenades, okay. Are you not on fire when I'm doing... Ah! The enemies do not take damage over time when you are picking up stats. That's interesting. It's a little animation. They don't take damage over time during that period. Condemned. We're not going there. How much is that? Heart thing cost skin? I think it was 3,000 something. 40 gold per enemy is not a lot, but it might be enough to push us over the edge. And where are you taking the ossuary? I think this thing just always takes the ossuary. Like, there's nothing else down here other than the ossuary door, right? Yep. Which is expensive to open regardless. And is that, is that it? This is a, I feel like it's a really short floor. Yeah, so we don't have enough money for that. So we go to, is that really it? The ossuary, talk sewers, where's our, where's our other, where's our other path? Did we not get that? No, it's from the sewers, that's right. It's from the toxic sewers. Let's go back to the promenade and up to the ramparts again. We haven't been that direction for a while. That does get us to the first boss and then on to that second area past the boss. Maybe we'll head down that area this time. <laughs> Meager six cells. Goes in that, we heal up. Let's shield out some more teeth. Maybe, I'm not super comfortable with the shield, but I said we're going to do it. We're going to do at least one run with the shield. Even though I'm not comfortable with it, we have to give it a fair... We have to give it a try. I can't just dismiss shields forever while barely using them. That seems... That's, that's not... Yeah, that's not okay. Okay, all right, hey, 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 we're all right. We don't have to use shields, by the way. Like, if enemies attack me, we don't have to shield it. That is infuriating. I'm wondering how it works against the boss, in particular. Also, I'd really like some, uh... I actually would like a ranged weapon. Seems like a ranged weapon. Uh, it kind of beats out 
shields for a lot of these fights. Don't you have can't just hold it down? That's how shields this game work. We're just, we're adjusting. It's slow. It's a slow adjustment. We're adjusting. Thanks for extra money. It's like half the point using these shields. Use that little extra money. Grabbing onto the ledges. We don't mean grab onto ledges. Is not a fun time. Oh, you can get the the elevator can land on you. I am amazed. I'm not even mad. I'm not even angry. I'm amazed. I get a little bit more HP. We're a little hurt. Might be wise to uh, heal here. What about the hammer, the nutcracker? It's a decent enough weapon. Yeah, we'll just heal. It's silly. By the nutcracker over our base sword, but I'm just I'm just so enamored with stats. <laughs> That seems so good, because I can just find weapons. You'll find a weapon, right? The limited number of stat upgrades we're gonna be getting in a in a run. There we go, keep playing at that pace. That's good. It's a good pace. Did I just smack him with the shield? I don't think that guy was attacking. Slapping. Maybe just attack quickly and I was I just accidentally did something awesome. Oh barely missed that. Had the you got the shield off before I threw the grenade, so I got slapped. I just feel pretty good when I get a successful block off like that. So many enemies. There's always this many enemies over here. I feel like there's a lot of enemies around here. He can block my block. Isn't that, isn't that silly? Some more HP. Lovely. I think it's the most amount. I think eight, 3 is our highest like HP stack we've ever had so far. Which is probably kind of sad. Nice, the shield's really forgiving for how long you have to activate it. Aren't you, like, doesn't the first enemy that hits you, though, break your, like, bring your shield down? So if you're in a group of enemies, I can't imagine it being, like, being super forgiving. That's a heavy crossbow, though. Heavy crossbow 2 or green shield 1. I like the heavy crossbow, although we have to use it carefully because last time we used it, we used it not carefully and got completely wrecked because it's a huge animation to actually pop this thing off. The door can't be opened from the side, even though that's like literally the side you open it from. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? So this, ah, prison depths again. I don't, maybe you should have taking a breath and looked around a little bit more. It's alright. Three, we got three health. Three damage. Twenty cells, not bad. Working our way up to this random melee weapon. Which I think can help accelerate us a lot. Refill our HP. <laughs> Weird with the rusty sword, though, man. One reason why I like the to have a random melee weapon. That way, if we are playing kind of fast and loose like this, we can't. We won't be stuck on the trash weapons. We'll have access to decent weaponry. Hopefully, decent weaponry is random, so we could get randomly trash, I suppose. Kind of wish we kept the oh geez shield. Honestly, after all that, what is this piece of broccoli? Ceiling turret. That's the exact kind of horrible scenario I was afraid of. Okay, well that was that was a bad fight. So we have extra HP though, so we should be fine. The heavy crossbow not one-shotting enemies seems to be about the worst thing ever. Yeah, okay, that's not a good heavy crossbow. It's not enough damage, too low level, I suppose, or we have too low too low level stats. 
No, de Ooh, I mm, trying to jump up the chain it doesn't work that it doesn't work that way. Peep, we really need a new weapon. Yeah, how am I gonna get past that guy with a heavy crossbow? Setting him on a fire is really useful. You climb so stressfully slowly. Alright, alright, the carrier's carrier down. Oh, stop, stop. The probe's too much. We have not enough HP. The stun does not stun long enough. I put myself in a terribly stressful position. I missed that guy. I snapped heal again. Maybe going to prison depths unprepared was a terrible idea. So let the fire do its thing. For as long as it takes. Are these guys invisible? Why are you invisible? Or were you just, like, I can't see you at that point or something. They seemed a little invisible. There's a a dude waving sensors. Is he making them invisible? Is that his job? Oh, we've made this door open. We have made this stressful on ourselves, for sure. Where's this door go then? Anywhere? Bunch of traps, hopefully not. Okay. That's the teleporter at least. That is a upgrade, any kind of upgrade. We're going really, really deep. No, 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 no. Oh, there's another carrier down there. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme the upgrades, we need them. We're in over our heads. Don't get blown up for the third time. Like the easiest enemy to not get hit by. We've been hit by it so many times already. Nothing in here. We haven't seen any runes yet, or I should. Yeah, I haven't seen any runes. There probably have been runes. Let's be. Let's be honest. Just look for opportunities to use your ranged weapons. Stay out of trouble. Oh, give me a weapon. That's a weapon, I suppose. And we were just talking about how the heavy crossbow is not cutting it. The heavy crossbow too, definitely not cutting it. The electric whip, though, we've had some success with. Much, much faster. Was that extra damage to burning target? Extra damage to burning and stun targets. Guess what we got? We got burning and stuns. I need to go down. Should kill this guy, though. Okay, killed Sonic the Hedgehog. Still not a ton of damage, but I'm more comfortable with that than our heavy cross, though. Run away from all that. Roll through, hit him some more at the carrier. Dude, these guys, this is so stressful. Electric Whip's not very strong either. At least it's not. Ooh, hi. At least it's not a huge commitment to use. Dude, once he hits you, like once he gets that combo going, it's over. He cannot react. He knocks you up. So you need to be very careful approaching those guys. Dude, if we can make it past the prison depth, so that's progress. Yeah, range, eh? Maybe that's the way to do it. You just have to get those guys at range. Already been up there. Another shop. What do you got from these stat upgrades? I'd love. Crossbow 6 would be much better. A slowdown would be great. A blood sword at 6 would be really, really, really good, considering we have no weapons. So that's probably going to be what we're going for if we survive long enough to get the money to leave, considering we have no healing. We have no healing, and we are at we're not even at half HP, right? Like a third HP. Yo, this is a nightmare, though. There's these traps over here. Oh, it's it's happening. What if I just bail out? 
Maybe that might have been the worst decision I've ever made. <laughs> Alright, not the preferred method I wanted to handle that. Don't get blown up. Whew. There are... There's still... Ah, oh, I just had to get through there. Should have just started running. Should have just ran through. We need to pump our brakes a little bit until I get better weapons going through with just the starting sword is... That's not... Like, that's not... That's not a sustainable thing. We need to pump our brakes to get that random starting weapon at least. And then I think with that little... Little step up of power, that immediate step up of power in the first level, we can make uh, some better progress. And also, if we ever get this healing, ever get this healing upgrade, this is like 500 million cells to upgrade your healing. A little, a little much, don't you think? But anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like your videos, subscribe for more, find Twitch Tags Deal. I'll see you next time.